Welcome to our channel, where we delve into vital health topics to empower you with knowledge and awareness. Today, we're shedding light on primary bone cancers, a critical aspect of adult healthcare often overlooked. Specifically, we'll explore osteosarcoma, Ewing tumors, Ewing sarcomas, and bone metastasis individually, unraveling their complexities and implications. The world of medical science is filled with fascinating and at times perplexing realities. One such reality is the varying symptoms of bone cancer, which differ based on the type, location, and extent of the cancer. Today, we delve into the intriguing territory of primary bone cancers, predominantly observed in adults, and explore the types and their symptoms. Primary bone cancer is a broad term housing varied types. Each type presents unique signs and symptoms. The dance between type, location, and extent of the cancer is what determines the symptoms. One of the most common indications of bone cancer is pain, localized and specific. This pain, initially intermittent, may become an uninvited guest during nighttime or when the affected bone is in use. Over time, this pain may shift from being a periodic visitor to a constant companion, intensifying with activity. In some cases, the tumor weakens the bone to such an extent that it causes a fracture, which manifests as sudden, intense pain. This particularly refers to fractures that occur adjacent to or through a bone tumor. Certain bone tumors may also present themselves as a palpable lump or swelling in the affected area. However, this symptom may not become apparent until sometime after the onset of pain. In cases where the cancer affects the bones of the neck, a lump may arise in the posterior throat, potentially leading to difficulty swallowing or breathing. Spinal bone cancer is a special case as it can exert pressure on spinal nerve roots. This results in sensory disturbances such as numbness, tingling, or muscle weakness, all depending on the tumor's location. Much like many other types of cancer, bone cancer may also induce weight loss and fatigue. And if the cancer spreads to other organs, it can trigger secondary symptoms. For example, if the cancer metastasizes to the lungs, it may cause coughing or respiratory distress. Bone cancer, although relatively rare, can mimic symptoms of other conditions like traumatic injuries or arthritic disorders. But remember, persistent or worsening symptoms necessitate immediate medical evaluation to identify the underlying cause and initiate appropriate treatment if required. In summary, primary bone cancers, including osteosarcoma, Ewing tumors, and bone metastases, can present a range of symptoms from localized pain to sudden fractures. It's crucial to pay heed to these symptoms and seek medical advice if they persist or worsen. A deep understanding of these symptoms can facilitate early detection and timely treatment, making a significant difference in the prognosis and quality of life. So, stay informed, stay vigilant, and most importantly, stay healthy.